Hey everyone, what's up? It's Quare to you, and welcome back to another edition of $5 or Less. Today, we're gonna be playing You Must Build a Boat. So let's jump on in, shall we? To a new game. I actually just tried to record this video and it kinda got messed up. Oops! Oh well. So you see we are on a boat. We're on a boot. We can't cross the ocean in this thing. We must build a bigger boat. All right, well, let's uh, jump on in then. Let's go on a run to find some crew. All right, I'm down for that. So, single step, learn to play. So this is gonna be our tutorial level. Oh boy. So what this is, is kind of an indie um, puzzle RPG, which is a strange combination, I know. But I've played weirder, so, you know, whatever. It works really well together, in my opinion. Um, it's a really fun, addictive game. Um, a lot of people would compare it to Candy Crush. I don't know if I'd go that far, but, you know, these match three type games are all fairly similar. But this one adds a, a new twist to the game and variety, and I really enjoy the way that they do that. Um, I think it's a fantastic game. They definitely de knocked it out of the park. Um, for those of you wondering, it is produced by 88 Games, who also created 10 million. And You Must Build a Boat is actually the sequel to 10 million. So if you know of that game, then you probably have been waiting for this one to come out for a little while. Um, but yeah, because I've played through, t I played 10 million. I hadn't really played this until today. I'd been holding myself off so that I could go into this video a little bit blinded. But however, you know, I can already tell just by playing through the first couple minutes of this that it's already a lot deeper, a lot richer, and it looks a lot better. Um, one of the things that I really enjoy about this game, and also 10 million, is the soundtrack, because the soundtrack is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, they did a great job creating it, they did a great job doing all the work for it, and, uh, you know, they should be proud of themselves for this, for this game. It's fantastic. Um, let's keep playing, though, and keep going through a bit of the action. So now we're fighting a snake, uh-oh. Snake! Ah! Scary. Uh, let's keep fighting you, Mr. Snake. Please go away. I don't like you, sir. Ooh, we got a pharaoh to fight. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> God. Uh, so yeah. It is fun time. You keep fighting the people, and then you kill the people, and then we the people of the United States of America. And we just, we try to win. So yes, um... I haven't been reading any of the text that they've been going over, but this is an endless game. Um, it doesn't end until you hit the edge of the screen, which we are probably going to do soon because I am not very quick on my feet or good at this game. So that's no surprise. It shouldn't be. I would be shocked if you didn't realize that. Um, <laughs> although these are games that I have a lot of trouble playing, um, this is a great game. I really enjoy playing it. Um, I'm really glad that I spent the money to get this game. Um, when I bought it, it was on sale. I'm sure it'll be on sale again during the summer because C Steam during the summer is just like, how is nothing on sale? Um, so yes, if you're interested in this game, it is currently $4.99. If you're interested in checking out the first game, however, that is also $4.99. It's called 10 million, um, produced by 88 games, same studio, obviously. Um, now, the really cool thing that... <laughs> well, we got a title screen. I guess we're building boats now. For a real for realsies this time. Um, the really cool thing that I am glad they did for this game is that they brought it to the iOS market, which is exactly what they should have done. And I'm really glad that they ended up doing that. So now you see that we can upgrade our sword a bit, do a little more damage, um, have a better chance of getting criticals. So that's going to be useful while we're fighting monsters back in the dungeon that we've been crawling through. Uh, we don't really have any more money, so we can't do anything else. Can you upgrade in this game? I have no idea. Um, but yeah, it is on the iOS market for $2.99, so if you don't want to shell out $5, but you're willing to shell out 3 great substitute there. Um, I think it's a perfectly designed game for iOS. I don't know exactly how they do it on there, but I'm sure it's just as good. And 10 million is also on there as well if you're interested in that. Um, I played a lot of 10 million before playing this video so that I would have a decent idea of what I was in for. 
And I gotta say that I'm impressed. They did a great job. Um, really added on to the game and kept the ba the basic core elements, which is important when you're creating a new game. Oh boy. Hey, there's something in this crate tile. Yes, there is. Crate tiles can have items inside. They all do different things. Try clicking this one when you see a monster. Well, we got a monster right now. Let's use it. Let's see. Oh, that arrow just messed him up. Good, son. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, we got a pharaoh here. Uh, 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 I'm freaking out. Oh, my God. I wasn't ready for this. Okay, come on, dude. At least do something. Jesus Christ. I'm just sitting here with my hands in my pockets like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, my God. I'm like, two. What? I don't know. Anyways, uh... So yes, in terms of a rating that I would give this game, I would give it a solid 9 out of 10. Um, really fun, really addicting, um, and just an overall great, great buy. Um, even if you're not really into this type of game, I guess, would be the right way to put it. Um, it's still a fun game that, you could, that you'll be enjoying and seeing yourself playing in your downtime. Um, because I didn't expect it and all of a sudden I've been playing 10 million for a while I'm probably gonna switch over to this one soon too shockingly enough um, so yeah I would definitely recommend picking it up on Steam I'm sure it'll be it's still five dollars what am I saying <laughs> I'm silly sometimes I don't think about the videos I'm doing all right there's that let's continue moving forward Let's see how far we can get with this run. I'm assuming that I am going to be pretty much tapped out soon because I am not the best at... Oh, did I get him? Yeah, I got him. Got that boy twice. You can't handle my swag, boy. Okay. So let's keep going. Let's see if we can get this lock. Yeah, we got them both. We got the turnips, baby. Turn up for what, you know? Exactly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm silly sometimes. I just, if you haven't met me before, hi. But this is me. <laughs> I just, sometimes I'll just say random shit and just be like, ba -dip, ba -dip, ba -dip, ba -dip, her -ba -dip. that's always fun. <laughs> what the hell? Man, this is, this is going pretty well, I gotta say. I'm doing pretty darn well for myself, although I have a feeling I'm probably gonna die in like five seconds here. Because I'm not care- Oh, oh, use the arrow. Use the arrow, dude. Use the arrow. Is he dead? Oh, we lost. Oh, well. So we completed both of our objectives, and we got pretty far by doing that, too. That was good. Use an item. Ooh, looks like we're getting something good. What do we got? Ooh. We got a mummy. Capture complete. Next reward. Defeat a pharaoh. How much money do you want to bet it's going to be a pharaoh? It's a pharaoh, ladies and gentlemen. Capture complete. So you see we've got more money, we've got more guys, but this is where we're going to end today. Thank you all so much for watching, definitely recommend picking up this game, it's a lot of fun and you know, for $5, that's a great value right there. Thanks for watching, Bye bye